capital. It's sort of a surreal sight to see. It is. I mean, if you haven't seen those images, just hop on your social media. You'll see them being shared. Governor Cooper sharing those details as well. People talking about this. We know that federal security officials, they're expecting around 20,000 National Guard and local law enforcement members to be on hand for this upcoming inauguration. A lot of them, just like those heading up from North Carolina, are not only going for the inauguration, but to help before President-elect Joe Biden is sworn in. They're expected to be armed pretty heavily. We're going to show you a picture with the Capitol Rotunda in the background. It shows weapons being handed to military members. One reporter said that he was shocked about how young these service members are. He says that it's their, for some, it's their first time visiting the Capitol and then points out that they're there not to take a tour like normal, but they are carrying weapons instead. Pretty stark images from inside the Capitol. Hundreds of our local National Guard around the country, law enforcement members sleeping for days, basically told to set up camp there. One of these images was just taken yesterday of service members asleep under the photo of George Washington in the rotunda as the House discussed impeachment for a second time, and then others laying in front of a statue in the Capitol. But these images of um, our service members, Ben, really just showing that they are ready to protect our democracy. But it's pretty crazy to, to see. It's, it's everywhere on social media right now. I mean, they're defending our democracy. I, I wish we could at least, you know, get them a, a, a cot to sleep on. They don't need to be sleeping on those marble floors. I'm sure they're cold and hard and uncomfortable. Um, but I also know when you have thousands of thousands of guardsmen, that might not be an easy task on the fly. All right, Rachel, thank you for that.